Hi everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my fall favorites. I did this back in the spring, um, like for a spring favorites video and I really enjoyed doing that. I love these sit down talk kind of videos and I recently shared one with my fall bucket list and I feel like it didn't perform very well on my channel. Um, my views and things were down on that video, but it was something that I really enjoyed sharing. And so I debated about whether to do this video or not because I didn't know if it would, you know, perform well, if it was something that people would be interested in watching. But I think sometimes you just have to do things for yourself and things that make you happy. And these kind of videos do. I really enjoy doing them. Every time I film them, so I decided to go ahead and share it anyway. So I hope that you enjoy listening to some of my fall favorites. Um, and if you did miss my bucket list video and that's something you'd be interested in, definitely go back and check it out. I shared it a few videos ago. Um, but we're just going to jump right on into today's video because I have several things that I want to share with you for my fall favorites. <music> my favorite sweater favorite fall clothing piece in general and I actually have one of them on and it is this Zanana pocket sweater it has a little pocket right here but these are truly just the softest most comfortable sweater I have ever owned and when I decided I wanted to share that as being one of my fall favorites I said well, I'm just gonna get all the ones that I have and share all the different colors you know that I have in this top so I think I have about five or six. I have 10, 10 of these sweaters. I'm like, that may be a little overboard, but they truly are my favorite. And I've picked them up from a couple of different places over the years. I feel like I get one or two new ones each year, um, but I've gotten some from like some local boutiques, also some online boutiques. Um, so I can't really sh like share those because I don't have a way to like link them or you wouldn't know, you know, like the place that I was talking about, but one, um, like place I've gotten that I know a lot of people might shop on is Zulily. I have found some from there over the last couple of years. I haven't seen any on there this year, but I know at least the last two years they have put some on there. And another thing I really like about these is they're usually very affordable. Most of the ones I've gotten are like 20 to 25 dollars but mostly around the 20 dollar price range and so i just think that's a really good deal for this kind of sweater and like i said they are truly so comfortable so soft so cozy they're just my favorite favorite things you can dress them up dress them down they are a little bit longer in the back so like if you wanted to wear them with leggings or jeggings you know they look good um with those as well and then also so like you can dress them up with like some nice pants khaki pants or wear them with jeans leggings for a more casual look but they truly are so very comfortable and just my favorite sweaters that i've ever owned obviously i have 10 of them um i just want to show quickly the colors that i have this color uh, this is actually one of the new ones that i picked up about a month ago and it's this pretty like rusty color um, I love this color for fall. It just screams fall to me. So I was really excited to pick this up. And they all have the pocket. Now this one is like a crew neck, but they do make them in V-necks as well. And I have a couple of each one. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the colors that I have um, in this sweater. So this is one that's like a V-neck and it's this pretty like olive green color. But like you can see right here, they all have the pocket on the left side of the sweater. And then on the back, it has this like little seam detail on the back and also on the arms, they all have that. So it just kind of makes it, you know, a little bit different. And it's like a high, low kind of thing. I said the back is a little bit um, lower than the front. So I have it in this pretty green color. I'll try to go through these pretty quickly. This pretty purple color. This is another one I have like in the crew neck. I also have it in this color i think this was like eggplant when i picked it up i think is what it was called but it's it's a little bit more purple in person than it's coming off on camera but it's like this pretty eggplant color this was like the first one that i ever got that made me completely fall in love with these and i got it in this pretty red i got this um and wore it like at christmas one year and absolutely fell in love with it so this was the first one that i ever got 
and it is a little worn, like it's starting to show um, that it's a little bit worn, but still one of my favorites. And when I picked up that red one is also when I got this one. So these were my first two that I got, and this is like this pretty oatmeal color. And then I also have it in this. I think this was like camel is what it was called when I got it. And it's another one of the V-necks. I have it in this pretty gray color. It's gray and it has a little bit of a greenish tint to it on camera, but it is more gray in person. And then I have it in this dark gray color. And the last one, this is also one of my new ones that I recently got when I picked up the one that I'm wearing, but it's this pretty like tannish white color. And they sometimes they're like a different feel, like some are a little bit thicker than others. Um, and then like the seam on the back is a little bit thicker on some than others. Absolutely love this color. It's one of my favorites, this new one that I picked up. So obviously I think they, Definitely qualify for one of my fall favorites. I don't think I have anything else that I've ever owned in 10 different colors because I truly just love them so, so much. But they have them in lots of other colors like pink, blue, um, you know, just you name it, they have a color for it and a style for it. So I think I've seen them called like Zanana pocket brushed sweaters, Zanana pocket sweaters, you know, something like that. So definitely if you see them um, and you wonder if they are worth whatever the price is, they definitely are. Obviously, I really, really feel that way because like I said, I have so many of them. It's definitely one of my favorite sweaters I've ever owned. And I would um, encourage you to pick one up if you like them and they will become one of your favorites too, I'm sure. Okay, the next piece, um, I'm actually wearing it too and it is my new Kendra Scott necklace. And I'll show you an up close of it in just a moment. But I recently got this in August. I've always wanted to try a Kendra Scott necklace, but just didn't really want to pay $70 for a necklace. Um, but in all, you know, they do the 50% off of your birthday. Like in your birthday month, you can get an item that's 50% off. So my birthday was in August. And so I bought one. And so I got it half off. Um, and I absolutely love it. I definitely think I will be purchasing more of these in the future. I just like the like daintiness of it. Um, I don't wear a ton of necklaces, but I like these like shorter necklaces and I just absolutely love this one and the color of it. If I can find it on their website, I will link it down below in case you're interested in getting this color. I think it was called Druzzy or something like that. But like I said, if I can link it down below, I will if you wanna go check it out but let me give you an up close of it. Okay, so the next thing is um, I shared in my spring favorites, like my favorite lip gloss of like the, what I like to wear in the spring. So I thought I'd do the same for the fall. I absolutely love this lipstick. It is Estee Lauder and it's this pretty, it almost matches my sweater perfectly, but it's this pretty, um, like brownish color and it's in the color 548 it's the pure color envy and it's like a matte um let's see if you can read that but i love this color so much i think this is like my second tube of this i think i already went through the first one that i had but I absolutely love that lipstick and I have it on now. It's come off a little bit because I put it on this morning, um, but I just think it's just such a pretty subtle color for fall and I really like to wear it this season. Okay, and I also wanted to share like my favorite nail polish. Um, I don't currently have my nails done right now, but I love like pretty gray colors and pretty brown colors. Um, to wear during the fall time. I always like to get them done a couple times during fall. I really need to go. I just haven't had time. Um, I love to have my nails done. I love to do like the dip powder because I feel like it lasts a little bit longer. Um, so it's just always fun to get your nails done. Such like a girly thing to do. And I, I like to do it whenever I have time. So I do treat myself to that a couple times a year. Um, so maybe I will go soon. Okay, I also want to share my favorite fall decor pieces um, in this fall favorites video. I've shared it before 
um, in previous videos, but I worked with a company a couple of months ago, the Round Top Collection, and I got some really beautiful new fall decor pieces. And so I just wanna take a minute to show you around um, my house, like where I have them styled, and um, those all came from the Round Top Collection, so those are definitely some of my very favorite new fall decor pieces that I got this year, so I wanna share that with you. sponsored by the Round Top Collection. Um, like I shared, they did sponsor a video of mine a few months ago, but I truly love their pieces and I feel like they are so timeless and so well made and will definitely be something that I look forward to pulling out every year. Um, so I wanted to share that with you and I will link their website down below in my description box as well in case you want to go shop on their website. I don't know if they have a ton of fall stuff left, but I know that they do Halloween and like all the seasons. So I'll leave that down below if you're interested in going to check them out because I think they truly make some beautiful pieces and it just has really added to my decor this year and I'd love to bring it in my home. But speaking of decor, I do want to stop this part for just a minute and I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna do just a little bit of decorating at work. Um, if you are new, I'm a library media specialist and I have a spot on like my circulation desk when you first walk into the library that I like to decorate for the different seasons. So we're going to go do just a little bit of decorating in this video as well. I thought that would be fun. Um, just, you know, as a fall favorite because fall is my favorite time of the year, uh, fall and Christmas, but I just love this time of the year and all the holidays and the weather and all the beautiful colors and just everything about it is my favorite. So I wanted to just include a little bit of decorating motivation in this video as well. So let's go do a little bit of decorating and we'll come right back and finish up the rest of my favorites. Okay, this is the little area that I'm going to be decorating and these are things that I just have here all the time. I just have these little like book in corbels. This is a suggestion box, like kids can put suggestions for books in there. And then I also just keep this little pedestal right here with a candle on it. So I'm gonna leave all of that there and then just add my decor to it. And I'm not gonna put a lot, really all I have are these few things. I got them last year from the Dollar Tree. Um, and this little gold pedestal came from Dirt Cheap but our school colors are black and gold and so i'm just going to add these few touches right there and then i also have a few of these things that i'm going to put in the little cabinets on the bottom and then my little side table so we're just going to play around with this and add these few little touches for fall I just added those two cornucopias and that little give thanks pumpkin just to give that a little something down there and then we also have this part on top so I have one more little area that I'm going to add a little fall touch to. 
I have this table over here that I keep all the time. I just have a little lamp and another little corbel and sign on there. But I'm just going to take away these flowers because they're like very springy and summery. And then I'm just going to add this pumpkin right here. I decided to move my little sign that I keep here in front of the pumpkin just to kind of balance everything out. And I think it looks good with my gold and tan pillows that I have on the chairs beside it. So that's how that ended up. And then just give you one more little view of how this ended up. Very simple, but I think it's just cute to add a little bit of fall touch to this area. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoy doing a little bit of decorating with me. I don't like to do too much on that counter because I don't want it to you know, be in the way because it is something that I you know, need to get to every day. But I think it's fun just to add a little bit of a festive touch for the kids. Um, so I really like that little area. Um, so I have a couple more things to share with you, um, like one I have right here. And this is my favorite candle for the fall time. And I shared this in another video that I picked them up from Walmart. But it's just this pumpkin waffles candle and it's the great value brand. I think these are like $4.95, so like under $5 and they, they just smell so good. You can tell I've already been burning this one and I have a couple more in my cabinet. Um, so as soon as this one runs out, I can start another one. So I definitely keep those on hand during the fall season. They truly smell so good. They smell just like or to me, they smell actually better than the ones from Bath & Body Works, their pumpkin waffles candle, and I just love it. The pumpkin scent is not too, too strong, like it's not an overpowering smell. It's perfect for this time of year, and I'll burn these on into like November until I start burning my Christmas candles, so I love these so much. Definitely pick up one every time I go to Walmart um, because they do sell out pretty quickly. Um, so I definitely pick them up when I'm there and they have them in stock just so I make sure I don't run out because I burn them all the time. Okay, the last thing I want to share, um, it, you might can tell, but I recently had my hair colored a little bit darker for the fall season. It's just fun to kind of, you know, change up. Um, for me, it's just kind of fun to change up my hair for the different seasons. I really like like blonde and things for the spring and summer. And I still have some blonde like in the bottom of it, but the top of it, I did go a little bit darker. Um, my hair is naturally like a light brown color. And so I feel like the top of it might be a little bit closer to my natural color. Um, but it's just kind of fun. Just go a little bit darker in the fall and winter seasons for me. And I actually got five inches cut off of it. Um, so that's been um, a change, but I'm really, really liking it. It definitely doesn't take it uh, take me as long to style it because I feel like there's just you know a lot le less of it now. Um, but definitely, it's fun to me. One of my favorite things is just kind of change it up uh, a little bit in the fall season, just go with something different and a little bit darker for this time of year. So I hope that you enjoyed my fall favorites video. Definitely leave me a comment down below and a thumbs up if you did. It would mean so much to me. Um, like I said, I don't know uh, how well people enjoyed these videos because some I've done haven't performed as well, but I loved them. It's just so fun to me to share them with you all. Um, I just feel like I'm kind of sitting down talking to a friend. So definitely leave me a comment or a thumbs up if you did. It would mean so much to me. If you're new, I would absolutely love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and joining my community here on YouTube. Um, I will see you in the very next one, friends. Bye. Thank you.